No? Does this all work? Are you good? This particular block of real estate has brought me two moments in my life I thought would never, never happen, hosting the Oscars and now I'm here today. So it means a world to me in here. Thank you. And you know all the really important people are here under a nicely shaded area. So don't talk to any of that. It's so good. Hey, I'll say, how are you? Enjoying your popcorn. Hi, Ava. How you doing? It's so good to see you guys. Well, honestly, today is a dream come true for me. Jay Leno was my opening act. All right? <laughs> the hardest working man in showbiz. Thanks so much, Jay. I appreciate it. Um, but thank you to Jay. Thank you to Man Theatres uh, for this great honour. Most of all, thank you to all of you guys for coming out here. It means the world to me. I have no idea where you guys would have got those Wolverine claws from. It's just incredible. Yeah. Wolverine, all right. You know, my son Oscar this morning goes, Dad, what's all this about? Why do they, why do they put your hands in, in the cement? And I said, well, I decided to do a little bit of research. For those of you who don't know, 82 years ago, Sid Grauman, who was the owner of this theatre, accidentally stepped into a freshly paved sidewalk, side, sidewalk. And when I heard that, I thought, just thank goodness he didn't fall into it face first. <laughs> but anyway... Here we are. This is, in fact, the very first Hollywood landmark that my wife, Deb, took me to. Uh, we came here. I remember putting my hands, finding uh, Peter Sellers' hands, putting my hands in his prints. And here we are, Baba, 12 years later, uh, with our beautiful children, Oscar and Ava. Yep. My son's a natural. He's like, how you doing, everybody? Probably scouting for hot chicks right now, aren't you? but he is. Anyway, but I just want to say, Deb, Oscar, Ava, without you, none of this journey would have been possible and certainly wouldn't have been as much fun. So thank you. By the way, Oscar, how am I doing? This morning he said, I'm only coming, Dad, if you don't do a long, boring speech. I promised him it wouldn't be long. I'm not sure about the boring bit. What do you think? How am I doing? When I'm talking, oh, you already started counting? Okay, I'll move on really quickly. 